I'm your dungeon master, I'm your guide, I'm your travel companion on this fun little journey. I mean, I'm not the best at being subtle about it. Trying is all we can do. I do not do stealth. I do not do it. Kind of specialize in not being found. Hello and welcome to Health Hits Experience, the show where we bully each other constantly and then we also play D&D. &D. Hey, uh, I'm your Dungeon Master, Pretty Lee. <laughs> welcome to the show. Uh, before we get started, a couple of announcements to make. If you want to check out some artsy fartsy stuff. You mean artisan fartisan. Artisan fartisan, thank you. I couldn't <laughs> yes, remember the yes. fun phrase. Uh, you can come see my installation. You, the viewer, opens this Friday and then runs Saturday and Sunday evenings until the end of December. Uh, if you want to not look at my stuff, but look at somebody else on our lovely show, take it away, Rob. Uh, uh, in December, uh, I will be appearing in the Lion in Winter at the uh, PACA Theater in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, the website where you can buy tickets is PACA1505.org. Uh, it is a great show. If you've never seen it, it is like if uh, Game of Thrones was written by Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's uh, intrigue and families that hate each other and all kinds of cool, fun stuff. And uh, so come see it. Come see it. Sounds fun. Now is the time. Well, um, December is the time. Well, yeah, maybe, it's, you, maybe, pre you get prepped to it's see It's a Christmas it. show. <laughs> if you go now, you're probably not going to find anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that maybe you could... You can watch some rehearsals. Watch some rehearsal, there yeah. There you go. There uh, you go. All right. Uh, and we're going to keep pushing those things until they're over, because uh, if you remember it once a week, then maybe you'll do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> force people to come see our shit. Uh, all right. So, I will once again... Give an inspiration token to anyone who can tell me what we did two weeks ago. Um, we... Too slow. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I wasn't even here last so, week. Somebody else, let's go. I, was, <laughs> I, I mean, well, we... I don't want to do it. I feel like I did it last time for some reason. Uh, we, we infiltrated a base mm -hmm. of the Plasma Fangs mm -hmm. because we're currently looking for some weird... An inventor named Randy mm -hmm. who got kidnapped from the planet he was on mm -hmm. with all of his crazy technology shit. And we want him because we're trying to help out some spies within the Zalarian government who want to use his technological expertise. Mm -hmm. So we're on a mission from them. Mm -hmm. uh, so we infiltrated and we followed the Plasma Fang ship and found their meteor uh, hideout. And we've been slowly pushing our way in, searching around, trying to figure out what's going on. It seems like they're very, very happy drinking a lot from their recent capture which makes them extremely easy to fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> Hieronymus is disguised as their captain, too. Yes, Hieronymus currently looks like their captain and used that disguise to beat them in a drinking contest <laughs> through sleight of hand and also convince them all to take all of their bodies and go exactly where, where we, we need to go. go. <laughs> to be fair, we now know where we need to go. Yeah, we know Which exactly we where we need to go. Yeah. There are now 25 people in our way <laughs> who are all 25. very drunk. So it's that's like the rough fine. equivalent of like two toddlers. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Um, not to mention that you overheard um, the captain wanting to rendezvous with Dev. And Schmel is with you and is charmed and having a good old time. <laughs> yeah, I gave him drugs, basically, I guess. <laughs> Magic drugs. Um, we have a, it's not, we're not quite there. You have real drugs. So. I have real, real drugs. in world the, the, drugs. Those, I'll only, I'll only sell those to Schmel for an exorbitant <laughs> price once he's too hooked on the charm. Got it. It's, oh my it's, God. it's like, it's like the heroin of magic. Sh <laughs> is drugs. Yeah. Drugs. Charm is the gateway drug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Charm is Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Armus is some uh, some good old fashioned. Anyways, not thing. this is not something I have experience with. This is just the <coughs> disclaimer. <laughs> and, and no drugs. Uh, what? <laughs> no. I, yes. get say, I get to say things. I have two tokens. And they get to be real until you counteract what I said. Well, sure. Um, so until okay. proven otherwise. Until proven otherwise, I can just say things. It's the no. power of being the DM. Oh no. <laughs> We didn't bully each other last week, so we're due. Oh, solid point. <laughs> okay, so um, 
Before we get started, I would like everybody, or not everybody, I guess whoever would like to, because I know last time there was some discussion about some things regarding uh, bombs and uh, stun grenades and things like that, uh, roll an intelligence check. For, We're rolling for, check for, your, what? for your like looking around, you're you're trying to to kind of suss out. It. You're doing the mental math of the okay. bomb situation. If you want to, if this, you don't care, this is a good sign, Brittany. Yeah, I rolled a two, which <laughs> means that is a total of eight. Okay, on, cool. Hold on. Okay. Oh wait, no, okay, it's I'll... just intelligence. It's six. Oh go, great. Go team smart guy. <laughs> I'm super smart. Yes, if you it, are. You caught flex off guard. The narrator was like, "Do a thing." If it's he intelligence, was like, then. <laughs> I heard a narrator. I got a seven. Oh my god. I got a ten. I'm gonna use an inspiration <laughs> token. I have two of them. Okay, no, it's not that important. <laughs> okay, I just got a 19. I got a 17 on the dice. Okay. The walls are so sturdy. This asteroid is made out of like the most sturdy rock, rock metal. <laughs> it's like you look closer and you can see that there's tool marks that like if if it would any other softness it would have like caused fissures it's like they had to use the heavy duty you know machinery to make to carve out parts of this asteroid if you were to have set off a bomb it would be contained what if it's i set off all three bombs at once bombs away it flux you're not <laughs> sure what kind of rock this is but the walls look really sturdy Hmm. Who else rolled? Everybody? I rolled a 10. Uh, I got a 7. Okay. Pearl, well, you've never... Trust me, you guys. I've never seen a rock in my life. <laughs> no, you just haven't <laughs> categorized rocks. You only know the shiny ones for small children. Right. So this is not the one of those. The ones that you pick up on the beach. Yeah, exactly. Cyrus, what did you roll? 10. 10. Um, We're this doing is great. This is a cool cave. Um, and the these rocks look really sturdy. Um, okay. But you do have some reservations about blowing things up, I think. But that's just you as a person. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the wall structure. Fair. <laughs> Just as a heads up. Um, Meanwhile, Hieronymus is talking about the Mohs hardness scale. Yes. And he's like, oh, yes, clearly this is a, 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 of an intense density. There's no possible way that your bombs can hurt this thing. Fire at will. I'm currently, I'm, like, attaching a little, like, communication device to 377. I, <laughs> I do want to say that um, even if the walls may survive... Bombs in a small location where you are also tend to be a pretty poor idea, just from experience. Right, but here's the thing. We just need to make sure that those three assholes in the next room don't find us, right? That's what we care about. If we put the stun mines, like you said, right by the door, we post 377 here and have him send us a signal the second that those things go off, we know how much longer we have left. Would 377 be okay if... He was standing next to an explosion. Uh, he'll, he'll, well, see, he has, I'm gonna show like the little like clip things on his legs where he can climb up walls and just go, he'll just stick to the ceiling and just sort of climb down the hallway a little bit that way. And then uh, if it goes off, he'll see. And he'll rapidly click that little walkie talkie we, we gave him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's my idea at least. All right, before we go any further with the plan here, I would also like to make the suggestion that we consider the possibility of liberating their vessel from this uh, place. Uh, perhaps uh, Otto could fly Bessie, and Cyrus, would you be capable of, uh, of uh, steering their ship should we decide to upgrade? Yeah. Awesome. We trying to steal a whole ass ship? Yes, because yeah, they're all in here and they're gonna be stunned. So we can take their ship mm -hmm. and old Bessie and leave them stranded here. And then it will suck very much to be them. Yeah, they're kind of a bunch of right assholes, so. Plus they do have a pretty nice ship. That's true, I do want the ship. I mean, we should make sure they have like a, a way of- machine? Yeah, like a way of contacting other people to come save them. Okay. Just, you know. You didn't so worry not... about that with the train. <laughs> it's, it's more just like these people aren't technically against our cause, so it feels a little weird to just... Nah, honestly, I actually would kind of like to kill them all, but it's... Well, know, see, this way we're not killing them all, we're just kind of leaving them here. Which would This is their base. Slowly. They have they have communications devices there. They are, they are also they are in working contact with, with Dev. Dev. Right. So they're probably fine then. Exactly. <laughs> Never mind. So all reservations all are gone. All right. Perfect. Well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take much to convince me to spam these guys here. 
Perfect. Fluxy should have stronger convention convictions. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You convince me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's what are we doing? What's happening? Uh, well, are you setting up the stun bombs? Yep, I'm setting up the stun mines. So okay. I believe I have, according to my backpack, I have two landmines. Okay. Uh, they hit a small area when they go off, mm -hmm. and they stun anything in that area. Which okay. means I don't need to use both. I just need to use one. Uh, enough that it will stun the people walking through that door if they decide to come this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to post 377. See, there's that little nook in the wall there, that little, like, like carved out bit. Mm -hmm. I know I can't really put them there, but 377 is just going to, like, wedge in the corner and, like, sure. have one eye peeking around the side. <laughs> um, and he has one of our little communicators, because yeah. we learned that we apparently have a bunch of them. I assume I assume Cyrus handed them out at one point after they were acquired. Yeah. Um, so Hopefully. Cyrus handed it out. Uh, Liz forgot about that. Yeah. Liz also yeah. has a note what are these that that was done. Like? Are they, they walkie-talkies? Are they headsets? Are they um, earbuds? They were described as cell phones. I think like so. Cell phone like. I I I say let's go with uh and I, this. I have this Cheater maybe, bugs. No, this may be <laughs> dating me a little bit, but the cell phones that you used to be able to use as walkie-talkies. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes. about? Okay, one I person have one that does. lit up. What oh, great. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dated <laughs> myself. Um, anyways. You're not that it, much older than me. No. They're, I'm younger. <laughs> like, we what? both are weirdos with tech, though. Because yeah, <laughs> I did just uh, bust out phones and fax machines. Um, yeah, there used to be flip phones that, like, oh. had an internal network that you could use as a walkie-talkie, like, when it was flip close. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I had one that lit up. It, yeah. was, it was great. I saw a lot of people in, like, the construction industry. But it's a phone. Them. It is a phone. So you, so you use a phone to call people. But when you're on site, you can just, like, walkie-talkie talkie to them like so, yeah, my, my parents would use it like when they'd come pick me up from van and they were outside they'd pop on and it would yeah. light up and let me know that like because then like, you here. wouldn't have to use your minutes back in the old days Thank we you. had these go. minutes that we had to use <laughs> i remember those those were the worst i don't know why they were a thing we're really and because we live in this world we absolutely have to have minutes <laughs> uh, okay so they're they're little flip phones that are walkie talkies um okay. and if you're if you have the accessory you can give yourself an earpiece does it, but you don't have the accessory does it do they don't thing. have Bluetooth. It's a little right. wired. No. Thing. Because they're walkie-talkies, does it do the thing where you press on the button and other people on other walkie-talkies can hear like the sh sound? Yeah, they're like, da -da. Yeah. yeah. So I'm basically, I'm just unfolding one and I'm handing it over to 377, <laughs> who's just going to like gently hold it <laughs> in his one claw. And basically, if he sees something, I'm telling him that he's going to just go Okay. Like, so like hit it in a very identifiable pattern because he, he can't speak. Yeah. Uh, SOS, yet? <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'm going to give him a speaker and he's just going to play like sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Soundboard with 377. Oh um, that's, that's for later. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. So when he sees the landmines go off, he will give us a warning, which lets us know we have one minute. One minute. Yes, correct. Um, uh, and if I tell him that if it doesn't work for some reason, by the way, that he just has to press it really, really fast so we know there's an emergency. <laughs> and then he is to uh, scuttle away and try to get back to the ship okay. if he can. Because I don't want him to just fucking get destroyed here because that's a waste of materials. Okay. I'm glad that that's your concern and not your love for him. I, he's, a, he's expensive. <laughs> and you said Hieronymus is a dick. He's not alive. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> The He's alive in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I think Flux just like somewhere is just like. <laughs> <laughs> just got a really weird headache. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've set up this uh, landmine. Yeah. So I'm putting it by Sun the door mine. in such a way that it looks, it's like obscured, but like if somebody goes by it, it'll, it'll and then go off. Are we going into the dining hall? Is that what we're doing or? Uh, yeah, we have to, right? We gotta follow where they went. I believe we do. And are we just gonna try to go ahead and convince them that we're new members of the crew or something? Because I can't disguise myself today. It's not that Wait. I didn't <laughs> want to, it's that I forgot to pick it up. You, yeah, wait, wh this, what? This, this was an infiltration mission. You no, I'm very much aware of that. It's just the way that it works is a little complicated. I kind of have to go through and re-memorize it. Look, it's, look, you guys aren't arcane users. You might understand though, Pearl. You know how it is. You have to pick up new things every day. You have to think about them and really study them so they get lodged in your brain. And so you had like all gizmos. I do, but the, I, the disguise thing only works if I put, 
Look, it's not important right now. I can't do it. I have other really great spells that aren't that. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, another option, I guess, would be that we were all captured trying to infiltrate since they're... Since Hieronymus is well, currently Well, apparently uh, there's, uh, the there's a locked thing and only the captain has the key. So maybe our best bet oh. would be to lure the captain and her cohort out of the thing onto the stun grenade. Bang, we grab the key from the captain. And then I just waltz in there looking like this. Sexy cat captain, pirate lady. But then... Waltz right in with the key, take the guy out. We say, we're just going to take the ship for a little joyride. You guys keep drinking. Here's all the booze. And boom, we're out of here. We're going to have to be really fucking fast if we're going to do it that way, because I don't think we're going to be able to kill her. Even if we could stun her, I mean, I've heard some pretty intense things. Can you tie her up? Flux just blushes. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I could possibly... We do have, I, we have rope, yes, potentially could tie her up. Yeah, but then, the, the, then there's like the other two... <laughs> That we need. Well, we're trying to stun okay. all three of them, right? We got stun mines, right? Right, but then I mean, you know, I can only tie up one person so fast. And what if they're? What There's if four of us in a crab. I it smells. Get your voice down. <laughs> we're in a hole. I got it right there. I can. We, I can do things. We have Hello. rope, a stun option, and then we could tie them up. Time, I don't yeah. see. Cyrus yeah, well, does have an obscene amount of rope. It is, I you mean, do. I'd have to. Why you? You have like crossed over both shoulders. <laughs> Every inch of you is rope. <laughs> it's a very. It's a very good look. Yeah. Very powerful. Love it for you. Like yeah. a Honestly. mummy made out of licorice. <laughs> I mean, even if we potentially needed more rope, they they have a whole rope course back there. That's so. right. Also, I could just put like another landmine by them. So if they really want to start moving, it'll just go off and stun them again or something. Yeah. There you go. So two minutes then. Right. Well, the idea is that we're trying to tie them up, and if it doesn't work, <laughs> the other stun mine, I just go. <laughs> uh, this plan sounds bad. Pretty good. No, that's honest. all of oh, our plans. Oh, it sounds good. It's all of our plans. All plans. Mm -hmm. Look, what would you suggest? Uh, whatever you think. Does the stun mine affect, uh, say, robotic life forms? Yeah, actually, I think it hurts them worse. Oh, all right. Yeah. Does it make them talk German or something? <laughs> no, uh, 377 can't talk. <laughs> but if he did, I, I mean, you know, probably might fry his circuits or his something. His right. clicks are just a little more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Italian. Yeah, he gets, he gets, like he gets it, Italian. Like this. 377, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> both, Gamma goo. Both claws. Um, no, here's the thing. Uh, can any of us, by any chance, sneak in there and find a way to filch that key off of her without her noticing? Because if we can't do that, what are we going to do? I mean, we could try to pick the lock. Uh, Maybe we should try to pick the lock first. Well, there's a whole bunch of crew members in front of the lock. Right. Okay. Do you have any bombs? I have like a bunch of bombs. You could just... I could just. We've already talked about this. I am completely fine with that. But yeah. you all didn't seem to want to blow them all up. I'm, I'm whatever you want to do. I know. You're... I still think You're a be, yes man. <laughs> I still think it would be a... Uh, poor idea to have it in such a small location, especially one where we would be nearby, unless we can get far away. Oh, we can get far away. Y you said that, uh, that, that it's not going to collapse, right? It's definitely not going to collapse. All right, we'll just do that then. I have no experience in structural engineering, yet I am certain this <laughs> thing just is not going to collapse. Quick question. Do any of us have any reservations about killing 95% of the crew? I kind of think that would be a bad idea. That's that's a bad luck, you know, pirates killing pirates. Yeah, right, then we don't when we get is targets. Is it really that. necessary? Yeah, I didn't think so. See, if we pirate from them, then it's like we are Wait, pirated. Wait, are we in two asses. stun mines? <laughs> I, I was, just throw I was in another about stun to mine. say if it, they're already drunk, if if you use that stun mine instead, just probably knock them out. You know, it's almost it's almost like it's been multiple weeks since we <laughs> talked about this or something. I don't know why. <laughs> just time for some reason, weird. time is so weird. Right, it feels like we've been in this hallway it's for It's been hour. like yeah, a minute. But okay, you know. new plan. I just slide in a stun mine underneath all of them. They all get blown to hell. Well, I mean, like... Stunned to hell. Stunned to hell. We try to open up the lock without the key. Get the fuck out. What if we don't lo open wouldn't, the lock without the key? Wouldn't the mine make a noise when it goes off? Does the mine make a noise when it goes off? Yes, stun mine. Yeah, we guy. all experienced the mines out front of the Randys. <laughs> they were pretty loud. 
because if there was just a sudden explosion in the next room, I assume the captain would come out. Which is why and I have step two. on the second stun mine when they come running through. Like, oh wow, hey, How we better run out there. How big is it? I think it's actually a pretty decently like, there's large. There's like, what, 16 crew members stun or some mines. crap? Like, how many of these guys are there? I mean, they're all in a small ah, hallway. Fuck, out of character, well, but they they're were, in a small hallway. 20 hall. minutes ago when we started talking about this, <laughs> they might have all passed out drunk by now. Brady, tell me how big the radius of the stun mine is. I cannot figure out which oh, chat it's in. good. Um, it's in <laughs> it's the not one in I'm in currently. Uh, oh. The... Uh, 10 foot. Uh, All creatures that 10 save. foot must make a yeah. con save. Yeah. Which sound, uh, game cast chat. Okay. Great. Um, yep, and you can throw it within 30 feet. Got it. Okay, then that's the plan. 377, you got your communicator, right? 377 just holds up the phone, <laughs> waits to it. Good. You're gonna arm this. Everybody step back. <laughs> And then we're gonna go in there. We're gonna stun all the other guys. We're gonna try to open it up. If it doesn't work, I have bombs. Other bombs. Stepping back. <laughs> so let's give it a shot, right? And unless anybody I guess. Like, <laughs> let's roll. So Flux is gonna pick up this disc and then just kind of like pull back a lever, like <laughs> almost bear trap like. Oh, okay. Hmm. These things are. Oh, there's the light. Okay. It's gonna slide it over by the door, kick some like meteor dust over it. <laughs> right, that's probably, that's probably good. Let's go. So, we're gonna sneak over that way. Yes. Yeah, not even. Over. I mean, we're gonna be quiet. We're not like. I mean, you have to be quiet. You're with the the captain. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so we're going over. Are we entering the dining hall? Well, we're gonna take a look and see if they're all still kind of hanging out around the thing over like they are on the map. Uh. Yeah, I mean, they're, ooh, mm, well, if I could click anything, I, that would be great, actually. Theater of the mind, Brittany. Uh, what are they doing? Listen, <laughs> Jesse's done such a great job of doing this map and Colorado placing the tokens that I want to honor that. Are you on the right that. layer? I'm on the right layer, but I am clicking the wrong thing, and you can't see what I'm clicking because it's <laughs> underneath the fuck of war. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, so I'm just trying to give them like a lovely little smattering of their uh, ones on the table. Apparently, <laughs> they're doing the thing when you're drunk and you're like, Whoa! you're up on the top and everyone's you know egging you on for no reason. Um, right, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they they're not like in a like a dog pile in front of the door, but they're they're closer to the back of the dining hall now. So. I'll be right behind you. Should I just follow you in? Or we sh should we all just follow you in? Um, sure. Yeah. You got an excuse ready? Yes. I have an excuse ready. Excuse ready. Okay. Everyone ready Woo! to do this? As, as Flux is like nervously holding onto his bag with like four explosives in it. Just like, okay. <laughs> I have lost control of my computer. Oh, no. I thought you were going to so, say your life. I started doing this yeah, show, same. and I think that that's true. I don't understand what is happening with my... So where are we going to park it? Like, great. Okay, there. Okay, there. Well, we need to go into the... Have Are they all... I thought they went to the cage, or are they just hanging out? They're just hanging room? out, because no, the out captain right. told them to take their friend over, I think. We'll see if they get hostile, and if they do, this thing can prime pretty dang fast. So mm -hmm. should be fine. Um, I I genuinely cannot click anything right now. <laughs> well, just tell us what's going on, Brady. I Fine. can't look at anything, so I can't click it. I'm having a very hard time. And we win. Yeah, <laughs> and the end of the day. Our plan works Yeah, and then suddenly all okay. of them pass out. <laughs> we, just, we just black out, and we're like, Ronald Bessie again, and we're like, Whoa. Whoa. We, we're holding ever. Randy, like, <laughs> uh, Randy's making cappuccino. <laughs> Okay. With, with Yama, they're flirting. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm. Why not, Brittany? I thought Yama flirted with everybody. Yeah, she does. Randy's old. Um, That's allowed. It's weird, but it's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he also, not into it. Okay, um, fair enough. Sure. So, the captain enters and does what? Um... Uh, as I'm tentatively walking behind you. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
We're mm -hmm. going to kind of just, oops, we're going to kind of. Cyrus is going to wait in the back to just. Waltz up over to here. Oh yeah, I'm going nowhere near the <laughs> If room. everything goes wrong, Cyrus is going to pop in, but otherwise he's like, yeah, bombs, not my thing. <laughs> bombs are not your thing, got it. Okay, so. All right. Attention crew. May I have everyone's attention, please? Most people look at you, the one on the table falls off the table. <laughs> Sounds about right. I would like everyone to gather around this table so everyone just move over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I will let you. That's all right. No, we'll just, I'll, no, I like I'll go it. over here. No, that's you can you can have them move towards the table. That's fine. They're pretty drunk. They're, They're pretty, pretty drunk. drunk. <laughs> um, however, some kind of charisma based for me, and then I will see who rolls what. Don't oh, all roll right. a roll one. Sweet. <laughs> Don't fail. Deception. Deception. Yeah. Do you want? If you can be. And again, like I said, I'll give you advantage on this. Deception, persuasion. They're the same. Yeah, they're pretty much the same, except for the way that they're opposites. Well, no, I mean. <laughs> From my rolling perspective. Oh, sure. There. I got an 18. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the the pirates uh, all uh, are like, oh, yes, captain, ma'am, captain, ma'am, captain. And they like, you know, they fall in over each other and they, uh, you know, the guy on the floor is like, oh, I'm good. Be there, I'm in it. Um, <laughs> And everybody comes over and uh, looks at you expectantly. Yes, I sort of peek in around mm -hmm. the doorway, waiting. I call back in and I say, you, new crew member fellow, bring that bag in here with all the new grog that I want everyone to try. <laughs> right, that's the thing that no. I have. Just gonna walk oh in God. real, like holding this really lumpy bag, like, uh. <laughs> It's in bottles. That's Hi, it. everyone. <laughs> I'm the new guy. Everybody does the thing when someone walks into the party with beer. Hey! <laughs> hey. Uh, heard you guys were looking for uh, fun. <laughs> oh my god. Flex is just very awkwardly standing, like too straight. Like, mm. place it right up here on the table. Here, oh, I want my crew really? to enjoy this lovely you put new way grog too much that we've opened. What's that? You put way too much trucks into Flux to be able to just go with it. Like, <laughs> He's trying. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will do that <laughs> right after we ask if uh, that's... Is that, I'm going to get really close. Is that an asset? We're doing this now? Yeah. I, I thought we were going to just try to distract them. In the, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, just give me one second. You know, you got to pop the bottles. First. Tap, tap that keg of grog, new fellow. Yes, and uh, <laughs> Captain, you might want to take a few steps back. You never know where the foam's gonna shoot out of the champagne bottles. That's right. Oh my God. Champagne and grog, yo! We got both for ya. <laughs> Just gonna slowly reach in. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna like fumble around, find like a piece of fabric, and I'm gonna wrap it around the mine. <laughs> and oh I'm just gonna. God. I'm just gonna pull it so it's active. Mm -hmm. Just kind of pull out this flat disc and be like, this is the first, no looking yet. Pink, place it on the table. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna grab the others. They're, sorry, I, this actually, I grabbed the wrong kind. I'm gonna grab the others from the other room. If one of you wants to open it up and look at her first. I know it's a weird shape, it's, it's a unique kind. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you trying to convince somebody Fancy to open it? Yep. Okay. Give it to me. It's like it's it's more like a growler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a persuasion check. Whatever you think is you're trying to do here. Because I will say I, I know that canonically Flux is not good at lying, but I will let you do some kind of charisma based with the understanding that they're very drunk. Right? And Does whatever that give me advantage. Sure. Yeah, I think I gave it to you. It's still not gonna go well. <laughs> you also have oh, two tokens. You do okay. have two inspirations. I believe tokens. that is cocked. That was worse. That was worse the second. Oh I'm gonna my use it. God. Inspiration token. <laughs> All right, you get a reroll. I'm pass this back. So I'm just gonna roll one more die. Yep. It's still not gonna be good. Okay. Okay. 
15. I rolled oh, a 17, okay. so 15. Okay, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have been a lot worse. One of the one of the crew members is like gone. Like there are no thoughts behind the eyes at all. The one that fell off the table. Yeah, the one that fell off the table. Like a big bruise is starting to form on their face, and they go, "Yes, yeah, the guys, I guys, guys." Right. Yeah. Yep. Just gonna, I've it's very got easy. It. You just take off the fabric and you just grab it and shake it a bit. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Be, I'll be right back. <laughs> Captain, you might want to find a table in the corner <laughs> so that they can bring you your alcohol. <laughs> gonna just slowly back out. Yeah. Room. So we're gonna. We're gonna make sure we're a good ten feet away. Yeah. Plus. You're at least ten feet away. And and do I have to? Oh, do I have to roll against myself? It, so so it's <laughs> DC thirteen. It's a DC thirteen concept. You could also make the decision that they're all so drunk that they just. They're fail. all very <laughs> drunk, but I'll I'll roll for one of them. Everybody else gets gets got, but one of them is going to really try and do a cool move. <laughs> There's nope. one one person tries to do a matrix, <sighs> and they like get completely like so, on so they ass. just open it and it just explodes <laughs> it just explodes yeah you see you hear the sound and you see the 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 stun force field go woof, woof, i assume woof. this just sounds like a flashbang yeah but you watch it like in slow motion go woof, woof, flex is woof. gonna cover his eyes with one of his tentacles <laughs> yeah um and the the light subsides whoosh, and there's uh eight pirates on the ground groaning but like oh, shit, on the ground that actually worked <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna wave to everybody else. Yep, yep. All right, I guess we're going in. All okay, right. we're going in, I guess. I'm gonna sort of go past them, just kind of casually, accidentally stepping on one of them. <laughs> the one that fell off the table. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> that guy having a bad day. Right. Okay, cool, so we- Bro, you got 10 combat rounds, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I assume that's not what we're doing. Um, okay, let me see if I can let let me press the button. It's a good thing I have a photographic memory, so I know the blueprints to these things, so I can make more of them. Okay. That suck if please, I didn't have please. those. Please, there we go. There we go. Oh, hey. There we go. There is Yay. a cell. So as you uh, approach the cell, um, you hear a voice go, oh, what, what, what's going on out there? <laughs> What, what, hey, what's, what's going on out there? Um, and hmm. that was one voice. <laughs> oh, sorry. Apparently he's got two heads. <laughs> he, he got scared. Um, the, you see a, uh, a selection of three very electrified cells uh, bolted to the wall. And then if you get closer, you see uh, a very grouchy looking individual. <laughs> and we can tell they're electrified? Mm -hmm. Are they like sparking with electricity? Is that the kind of thing? Or is it like one of those like, somehow there's like a magical electric um, it's it, It's kind of similar to the, the gate outside of Randy's hut, mm. but not as latticed. Did he design just, these cells himself? No, like, they're bro, not. What are you doing? No, they're not as good. They're not as nice looking. Randy just yelled at them about how shitty their prison cells were <laughs> until he upgraded them. Let me show you. <laughs> Cyrus is also going to wait outside in case anyone starts to wake up or anyone comes in. You're going to just <laughs> pop them on the head. Going to, yeah. Give them the old one. Uh, I'm going to. As, as we're going, I believe I control Schmel. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to instruct Schmel to wait with his stun blade and go, anybody that moves, just <laughs> got it. Stun him. Right, got it. And somebody is keeping an ear open for the telltale uh, signal from uh, a crab. Yep. Yes. Yep. All right. Yep. Good. Right. So we're gonna run in then. Uh, you want to explain or should I? Oh, fall there. That's electric. Uh, ooh. ooh. <coughs> All right. Look. Uh, I, I know I look like the captain, but we're here to rescue you. I am not the captain, and we're trying to get you out of here because these guys are a bunch of dicks. All right. So. Uh, that seemed, do your stuff. Right, uh, we're gonna look this cage thing up and down really quick. Okay, is there a control panel anywhere nearby? Um, so they are similar to the poles that were outside of Randy's hut. I forget how we got around those before. You got shocked. <laughs> I know, but then did we just go over them? No, didn't we have no, to destroy they one? they went. Yeah, if you take, if you down. took one, like, 
out of commission. The whole thing like, powers down. Yeah, it took off the connection. Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Randy, is it, guy? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what, what's going on We're out there? trying to there? rescue you here from I, these pirates. Yeah, okay, but like, I, I don't know if you're also a pirate. We, we are, are but we're good pirates. <laughs> different kinds. I didn't, I didn't know there was different kinds of pirates. Uh, the, uh, uh, these the guys are know. assholes, and we're considerably less assholes. <laughs> There's, so it's a ranking of There's assholery. There's a spectrum of assholery, oh, and we're, I do. we're like a two, and these so guys are like eight. Flux is, Flux is doing a Flux is doing a very quick scan yes. of this thing. Yes. Is there like a very obvious weak point, or is this one of those things where I'm gonna have to get creative with how I take is this? Is there thing an on off? Look at here, Mr. <laughs> Randy guy. We are on a real tight time pressure here. Uh, these guys are gonna sell you to a really bad dude that we hate. Uh, so we're gonna get you out of here. You got uh -huh. any insights on how to depower this thing since it looks a lot like your uh, little house there? Oh, it, no, it's not as good. I no, no, yours was much better. Good but at my job. We don't I... have time for this. We have 30 seconds left. <laughs> uh, Flex is going to uh, just like quickly like look this thing up and down and go, all right, well, that's not gonna work. Uh, mm, okay, acid. And he's just gonna begin to sort of gather up some magical e energy in his hands and he begins mm -hmm. to sort of like pull apart these like greenish like shards of, of crystal looking energy and just sort of <laughs> as he's gonna shoot out a, I'm gonna use Tasha's Caustic Brew on a bunch of the bars. Ooh. See if okay. I can hit a bunch of, I'm gonna kind of line it up so that it shoots down. So I'm gonna stand back there, uh, Randy guy. Like as, as you were saying this, as the acid is being, you know, shot out. Like, ah! Uh, I, I, it's, I assume it'll eat away at it. I don't know how fast. <laughs> What's, yeah, how does that? So uh, they're not gonna make a deck save because they're a bunch of bars. They are? It's, there are just holes that make up a cage. Uh, yeah, but basically this is going to deal 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of our turns. Uh, the, the bar's turns, yeah. but they don't have turns, so. No. Um, sh do you want me to start rolling damage for these yeah. things? Yeah. Okay, because it's gonna be a kind of a slow process, unfortunately. Oh, okay, well. It's the best thing I have immediately. I can't just shoot them. <laughs> I mean, you shot everything else. So. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, these aren't quite gonna work that way. It's only four points of acid damage. You just gotta eat away at the bar. This is what. This is your grand rescue. Shut up! We're trying to help you. Oh boy. Okay, it's gonna keep eating. I don't away know if I want to be rescued at this point. This seems like a bad, a bad deal for me. Randy, you seem hangry. Oh, hello. There's a robot here now. <laughs> do oh, you boy. do you require sustenance? I'll I'll say I love a good snack. And she'll like kind of reach through the bars to like give you a snack. <laughs> Do I know um, those stun blades, would they conduct electricity in such a way that would harm me? Because I get the idea that they're not supposed to shock the user. Yes, no, they're not. So could I pull a stun blade out and smack where the bars are currently melting away and try to like break them? Yeah, um, you, so what, what did you roll for acid? Uh, well, I just did four damage on the first turn. Uh, okay. Am I rolling again because it's been six seconds? Because <laughs> every round. Yeah, but smack it. First. All right, I'm gonna roll the smack. Roll the smack. Big roll snacky. Smack. Roll to smack. I forget. Is this item a magic item technically? The pole? No, stun blade. Uh, I don't believe so. I believe it's just a reflavored weapon. Shit. <laughs> I'm tech. way worse with those. <laughs> oh, that's a natural twenty. <laughs> God. <laughs> as Flux just sort of pulls this thing out and goes, okay. All right. uh, you might want to stand back for a second there, Randy. This is, uh, sparks are gonna fly. Uh, okay, all right. I'm getting snacks and sparks in the same Flux day. <laughs> this is the coolest buffet I've ever been to. <laughs> this guy's the worst. <laughs> to be fair, all engineers are kind of, well, never mind. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I can hit you with this too. <laughs> okay, so what's your damage? What's your double damage on this? Uh, so, I mean, it's just going to be 2d6. And it's plus strength mod, I assume, which I have none, unless it's a dex weapon. Uh, I don't, I'm not looking at the stun blade at the is moment. It, is it finesse? No, it's a sword. Okay, then no, then that's just gonna be eight points of damage. Okay. I assume just bludgeoning, because I'm bashing it. I'm not like electrocuting the electric bars. No, yeah. Would you uh, like me to viciously mock the bar? <laughs> you can try your best. Did it manage to break the thing? No, you're it's okay, still standing. Okay, try to pick the lock. It doesn't matter if you could shock. Where's it's the lock? Fine. Where is it? I didn't even see the lock. There's is there a lock, a lock the there? The uh, do you not see the lock directly in front of me? I'm just me? trying to disable the electricity. Oh, you start throwing acid around. And this no, is what I gotta deal with. I see. Hey, listen, I'm, this I'm is why. I'm looking to upgrade engineers. I work here alone. This is why is I work. Is the bar looking weak at all? Um, the yes, yes, it does look 
like you're, you're starting to dent it in and you can hear the hum of the electricity like ebbing and flowing yeah would it be possible to essentially like short circuit the bars uh like with another blast of electricity yeah i mean go for it yeah. or i could just you try know, to pick the lock because i have shocking grasp well i already hit it with an electric sword so i feel like that probably would have done something pretty similar how yeah. are our stunned um Buddy, buddy's doing right now. <laughs> they are all like starting to do the like, oh, but nobody is like up at the moment, but they're awake now. Mm -hmm. hey, and we oh. still haven't gotten a signal from the crab, right? Nope. All right. We're Weird. going to be no, um, just so you know, they are starting to stir and wake up. Damn it, Cyrus, this, get in here. <laughs> Forget the thing again. <laughs> do you want me in there? Yes. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I thought I was gonna pick the Do lock. Do you? I need to disable the electricity so you don't get. Go for it. If you pick the lock, you're go it's gonna not be fun unless you got some cool rubber I tools. I 17 hmm. on my head. Yeah. So I, and I sorry, have to go in. Take it's down the power before we do the lock. 19 total. Yeah. Is that like a switch? Well, at this point, you're doing better with the, the hitting it. <laughs> Three more points of damage. Three. Okay. Uh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Great. Yeah. Does guess, anybody else want to go? I guess Cyrus is coming in. He's like. What do you... Break this thing! Why are we so bad at breaking into places? <laughs> I needed to dis disable the electricity so we're, that he could just pick the lock. Because we're pirates, not burglars. <laughs> Valid. Okay, also true, actually. Yeah, yeah. we're not very good thieves. Okay, because Cyrus doesn't necessarily know that the last time didn't work when he punched it. Okay. Um, He is going to try to punch this one again. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're just going to punch it? <laughs> You told him to break it. You gave him no other information. Break it. It's electric. <laughs> it looks to be electric. Did you the, tell him that? It looked. It's literally shocking. The last time lightning. I You're punched the engineer, something like this, him. it did break. So. Uh, <sighs> gonna try is to is the acid melting away at this thing? Because if it's been another round, that's six more points of acid damage. Okay. okay. Um. By the way, Mr. Randy, we really liked your uh, your house. It was very cool. A lot of cool stuff going on there. You're a very uh, talented feller. Oh, thank you. I uh, I think I'm very much the most proud of the rocket toaster. That's a fun little gag. I, I like very much pull. enjoyed oh, that. Oh, thank you. It's a fun little like. I think I'm I'm thinking about making like a line of those and selling <laughs> them. Seventeen to punch. Seventeen to punch. How have these bars not broken yet? <laughs> and then. The actual punch is going to be, oh, that's four. Four? That's an eight, so. An eight. So okay. Eight damage, damage. eight damage. Eight damage. Are you picking the lock or not? Is the electric still on? Yeah. Yes. Then I'm not picking the lock. You could I'm at least try. What happens to Cyrus now that he has punched it? it yeah. He goes, ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did it not make any difference? It, I mean, it, there's a difference now. The, the cage itself is starting to like, weirdly bend in places and you hear the, the electricity is just like way oscillating up and down up and down up and down okay can i like look at this thing to see if there's any weaknesses or any spot or like a box of power or something like that that would do more yeah i already looked around for one useful of those. Do, do an investigation yeah, that's a five. <laughs> okay great now nope. if there's some there's there's elect three electrified cages in front of you. That is that is currently what's happening. Yep, and we know how to disable them. It's just that we have to break them first. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so when they bring somebody in here and they want to put you in, they, they have a key, but they have to break the bars first before they turn the key in the lock? I don't know. Try tr try using the, the tools you have. Give it a shot. <sighs> All right. I'm going to suck it up here. As With Hieronymus' Flux. voice is coming out of the sexy cat uh, pirate. <laughs> as, as Flux is like holstering the rifle, like, fucking fuck this shit. <laughs> All right, so what is it? Sleight of hand. And uh, would I get like a bonus from the thieves tools? Yeah, so if you want to roll for the thieves tools. So you're trying to pick the lock? Is that what we're doing? Yep. Okie dokie. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Is that a nat one? That would be a nat one. Oh, no. Ouchie. Oh. I was going to say Flux oh, would have given you guidance, but no. it doesn't look like it matters. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, great. So, um. This, is, this must be the slowest acid we've ever seen in our lives. <laughs> it's just like, just sitting there. It's, it didn't get enough, uh, like momentum to get into that. So, um, 
The couple things happen at the same time. Oh fuck. Um, first of all, Cyrus. So like, this is all kind of happening simultaneously. So mm-hmm. you you punch it, and you're like, that was that was weird. And then a uh, bolt of like electricity shoots at you. You take three lightning damage. Um, because it just, it's like, like followed the, you know, electricity of your hand, basically. Uh, uh, so, uh, Hieronymus, you're trying to pick the lock? Yeah. Great. Uh, so you, you <coughs> feel the electricity on, like, the back of your neck before you get shocked. And, yep. yeah, you take four lightning damage. Ow. Uh, and it blows you back a little bit. Uh, and Randy goes, this is, I, I, I told, look, listen, they're not good, but they're gonna hurt. So this is why you don't, like, you got, did no one get the key? You're dressed like the captain. You yeah, gotta get no, the key. we didn't get the key because uh, we we're trying to spring you from here without uh, having to fight the captain. Without a plan, it seems like. It's no it, plan. No how, plan. How weak are these bars looking, Gritty? Uh, pretty weak. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna hold up my fusion rifle. I'm just gonna put it like an inch away from the weak point of the bar and be like, if this doesn't work, I swear to God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever God is out there, I swear to them. There are no gods. You don't know that. <laughs> That's too meta, get out of here. As Flux is just gonna like point, he's like literally like this far away from mm-hmm. the thing. All right. Uh... <laughs> Gonna pull the trigger. Gonna mm-hmm. see what happens. Mm-hmm. Does I mean? Does it hit? Does it hit? Does it damage the bar? You're point blank. I'm not gonna say you don't hit I the don't bar. I don't know. But I am gonna ask how much damage you do. Well, I mean, I have to roll for that. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be. I rolled really low, but it's still gonna be seven points of, of damage. Okay, great. So the you you fire, the bar like snaps in half and all this electricity runs out of the bar, up your gun, into you, and you get 11 points of lightning damage. Yeesh. <laughs> You're gonna probably drop the gun. Yeah. Uh, how... You okay there, buddy? You literally just watched that happen. I couldn't, I'm inside the cage. What I'm do you just want me that to didn't do? go through my heart, Jesus. <sighs> what do you want me to do? Uh, is it still electrified? No, all the electricity went into oh, flux. Thank God. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, Cyrus is going to start, like, trying to bend the bars open and br- just brute force the yeah, result sure. at this point. Yeah, Do absolutely. You want me to roll it? Or, I mean, uh, nothing else is working. Just, so. I want to see what the flavor is on this. I will oh, let God. you do it, but I want to see what the flavor is. <laughs> this dice doesn't like me, apparently. Oh, no. Dice jail. Uh, this is only I don't 20 know the, I have. I don't know where the top for this one. Um, good. so Have brute fun forcing it is eight total with, I just do, use my strength. If I use attack, then it's going to be, um, a 10, <laughs> but still not that much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you try to do like the strong man, like, <sighs> and like, it doesn't quite, but there's enough of like, now we've got a little bit of a gap. Ham, uh, you know, through um, that you could feasibly, like, you know, reach your hand in, try to squeeze somebody out. Uh, so, what happens is, uh, you know, the electricity's gone down, and you've, you've bent the bars, and uh, Randy comes, comes, like, squeezes, tries to do a little squeeze, uh, uh, and goes, "Well." Now you got a whole sea of uh, uh, drunken pirates to try to get through. Yep. Gonna grab the rifle. <laughs> this seems like a, a good plan. Yeah, what do you Cyrus do with a drunken sailor? Radio. <laughs> Cyrus is gonna radio to smell. Um, are are they awake yet, or do we still have a little bit of time left? Yeah, they're awake. Are you doing anything about it? I'm gonna start limping out of the room. <laughs> I uh, did hit him with my uh, stun blade, but it wasn't on. <laughs> Why? Because you said hit him with the blade. <laughs> Sorry, I was just gonna take out the techno foil and stuff. Oh, I'm so happy that you had me come in here and help so much <laughs> before heading out. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, Flex just keeps twitching weirdly. <laughs> oh. Right, well, uh, we're probably gonna have to kill some people. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Randy, stay behind us. Uh, you, you got it. Are you sure you're gonna 
be okay. Uh, I feel like all of my cybernetics just seized up, but it's probably all right. Oh, well, I mean, I can take a look-see if you Not want. after this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no look-see. I see how it is. Don't trust an old man. All of Flex's tentacles are just like Ooh, doing God. like this. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we make it back out. Yes. Uh, smell is like, again, like the, the idea is not that, you know, Schmel is not doing anything, but he's just like, like smacking people with the butt of the blade. How many people are getting up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're trying, and then it's like whack a mole. Hoopa! <laughs> God, what a precious idiot. I'm doing it. You're doing great, Schmel. Thanks. Is there anybody like an immediate threat? Uh, no, they're very drunk <laughs> and did just get knocked out recently. I, th I think one's gonna stand and like deflect. He's like, stay down. <laughs> um, but there is eight of them and they did see you coming out of the cells. And uh, until, until the captain convinces them again, you're gonna be like, oh, hang on. Oh, one of them goes, hey, that's my prisoner. And then someone next to him goes, no, I got him. <laughs> I put him in the cage. That one was me. Hey, Captain. We need ya. <sighs> Captain is going to uh, sashay out into mm -hmm. the room with the drunken people. Mm -hmm. What are you all doing sleeping on the job again? <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Ew. It was your new your new guy gave us uh, spicy beer. <laughs> Just because you can't handle it doesn't mean it's not good. <laughs> that was spicy. hours ago. <laughs> what? Are you gaslighting the crew? <laughs> <laughs> it's just specialty. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? All right, everyone, clear out of the way. We've got to get this prisoner ready for transfer. Yeah. Try to do a convince for me. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. This is fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, as you say this, there's just enough of that tone in your voice um, that whoever's like kind of the de facto leader of the group, even though at that point they're all underlings, is like, well, you heard the captain. Um, and like, they're all swaying, trying to walk away. Um, and they all try to head down the hall to their quarters, their general quarters. Um, I cannot believe that actually worked. <laughs> I mean, they were pretty drunk, but like, brilliant plan. All right, so uh, we're gonna make our way back to the uh, exit, uh, trying to uh, not, um, go anywhere near where the actual captain is. I haven't gotten any signals from 377, right? Uh, as you're watching everybody leave. Um, where they, th where's their thing back down at the bottom corner there? Yeah, the yeah. general quarters are, oh, I can't, uh, once again, unable to do anything, uh, is down, yeah, to the end of the hall. Right. Um, you, you hear uh, frantic beeping. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, guys, we have to go, uh, now. <coughs> as we're going. Yep. As, as you're already going, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um. Gonna make sure Do Randy's I hear the sound coming. of a crab scuttling very fast down the hallway in our direction? More importantly, do we hear the sound of a stun grenade being deployed? Uh, you don't hear it, uh, but you assume that it went off. Um, and that is also one of the things that makes you realize that there's a lot of good soundproofing in this asteroid. That's why the captain didn't immediately come down. You're like, oh, oh, I understand why she had a mic stand in her room now. <laughs> that makes sense. I wonder uh, if she got into voice acting more. <laughs> uh, I need to do a real quick arena. Just, uh, just do a quickie. I need to see who got, who got stunned. So I'm going to roll for everyone to see, I guess. Um, so I need to do. Of course. Nope. Yikes. <laughs> That's what like, I figured, but yeah. of course. Yep, 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 yep. 
and one more. So the captain is they good. Uh, the captain Gilgar is not good. And yep. our engineer, how are they looking? Go down. Just go down. Everybody. Okay. Oh, engineer's <laughs> out. Engineer, engineer may be actually dead. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure. That They're I've, the one who stepped on so, it. Yeah, so, they did so step on it. The captain and Gilgar both passed. Uh, yes. Because of DC 13. DC Rip. 13, But that's the engineer right. was just like, what? <laughs> yeah, this is the one that stepped on it is yeah, not he, doing he great. He shielded the others with his body. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it was like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so your crab comes back to you. Um, and. Oh, uh, that's a bad sign. <clears throat> We're making sure Randy is with us. And Schmel. And Schmel. Yeah. Schmel. Is apparently there we go. No, Thank he's you. Fine. I got him. <laughs> it's like I, I just forget that I have to control three. You thousands. don't have to. I can cannot control, control Randy. No, so it's fine. Just don't worry about it. That's cool. Charmed him. Randy is with us. <laughs> Randy is with you. Oh yeah, let me move Randy. Uh, I should give Schmel like cybernetic laser arm cannons <laughs> or something. <laughs> But he won't turn them on. He'll just hit people with his own one. <laughs> no, he'll just be like, ah, cool, I made a metal drop. now. Let's <laughs> um, One D4 damage. <laughs> <laughs> the elbow. Um, the elbow. <laughs> hey! hey! We need to cybernetically enhance him into a wrestler. Hashtag Perfect. Schmelbo. Perfect. Uh, I, if we turn this into WWE, I'd be into it. <laughs> um, but all robots. But all you, robots. You have to at least be partially robotic to join. Right, to get in. It's the Cyborg League. It's a cyborg league. <laughs> Great. Um, okay. So as you are making your way, the the drunken pirates have already cleared. Um, they've toddled off. They've the toddled bed. off. <laughs> and uh, you just hear a lot of, like, yelling of, uh, you know, swearing. Yeah. Yeet skiddied out of here. Yeah. Uh, the, okay, so everybody roll for skedaddle because you're gonna what? you're gonna run into her if you don't Would skedaddle that be, faster. Are we, is that just initiative? Uh, yes. no, I will I will I will take a, a what skedaddle. Am I what, what am I adding? Twenty on what? Twenty on skedaddling. On skedaddling. What am I adding, adding to my skedaddle? Add a, a plus uh, shuffle. <laughs> That's not a thing, pretty. <laughs> Welcome to D and D on my way. It is now. What are we rolling? Am I adding my dex mod? Sure. Great. Seven. <laughs> I got a twenty. It, a nat twenty. But if you want me to add my dex mod, it's a nineteen. Okay. Flux is still I got dealing with electric fail. shock. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. So it's Cyrus, you book it. <laughs> Leaves us I just imagine picking dust. Randy up and like, <laughs> Randy's over like over one shoulder. Oh, oh like, no! Where am I going? Where am I going? I just <laughs> imagine he looks like a like a mid seventy year old like old Southern. I was imagining <laughs> Doc Brown. So <laughs> so Marty. Randy is a is a little guy. Uh, so yeah, he's like an old prospect. Gray. <laughs> Four eyes, six fingers per hand, two toes. Oh. White hairs coming Weird out there. Weird that ears. all of that he has six fingers but only two toes. Two toes. He's just like. No, no, not not like this. It's like front and back. <laughs> That'd be really gross. Sorry. If you want to run this game and run these NPCs, you can call Colorado every day. <laughs> I just thought of the most gross possible layout. So. That's that can be in your dreams. For sure. That, no. <laughs> then no, don't no, say no, it out loud. <laughs> You'll have to bioengineer <laughs> no. new feet for Randy. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not go here. Uh, I'm going to haunt your nightmares for real. So skedaddling. So you're skedaddling. Randy. Yeah, with Randy. And you go so fast and you you uh, come out ahead. So um, <laughs> and as, as, as Cyrus skedaddles away. What the uh, <laughs> The you, the captain and Gilgar uh, come around the corner. You guys all run into each other, um, and the captain, seeing her own face, oh, really just uh, loses it. Uh, oh come on! There must be one second of like. What? Oh no! It's like <laughs> you motherfucker. Um, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> don't even start with me. Um, Hieronymus immediately goes and. Runs and, and gets tangled up with <laughs> oh, so that the other people don't know which one's the real captain. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy! This is Why? Fantastic! Everybody roll initiative for me. Except <laughs> except for Cyrus, who you can keep going if you. God, want. I, I rolled. Cyrus worse. is gonna keep going probably a while. I rolled a six. 
Okay. Um, he has Randy and he's just gonna book him to I believe the my ship crab or as far as he goes. I got a 22. Around, so. Okay, so should here's, I, once I again, here's how I'm doing. Uh, initiative is highest starts and then we popcorn. Um, so, so far it is, Pearl is the top. Uh, Captain is not the top. Uh, somebody's gotta beat a 22 to beat Pearl. Um, hello? Definitely did not do no, that. No, that's not Girl. it. Okay, cool. Um, Hieronymus, <laughs> are you gonna roll higher than a 22? No, I rolled a 14. Okay, great. So, Pearl, you get to start this, and then you can popcorn to whoever's next. So, There's did no you system. actually get tangled up with the captain? And we not yet, to... because okay, I'm okay, cool. lowering the <laughs> initiative order. So, so I, I will say you started. You Pearl ran. So you yeah, ran towards. Yeah, yeah. We're we're mid run. Um. Then. Yep. Rocket boosters. Pearl has wings. Yeah, Pearl eats rocket boosters on the wings. So uh, the one go... right in front of me is the captain. Uh, the yeah, red, red skull bones. I believe it is the red skull bones. Yes. Let me uh, let me double check. Yes, this smitten. Smitten. Is she oh, wearing? Um, I thought it was smitten because she was like armor really pretty. Armor or anything? Uh, is she like, wearing oh, armor? <laughs> you know, like uh, you're smitten with somebody. That makes sense, right? Yes. Is it metal? No. Okay. That's all I need to Okay. I'm just gonna try and stab her. Oh god, okay. Great. What does that mean? Uh, Super dex. Yeah, I'm rolling. I feel like I never see you cast spells. I do, but like the spells that Pearl has aren't all of For childcare. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, of this course is I'm not, not going to use she produce was made milk. For. Like, let me. I would like to cast Go to the Grocery Store. <laughs> Dude. It's me every day. The, the, the change diaper spell is a second. It's a level seven, though. it doesn't hit. It. Okay. Fine. Dang it, Pearl. I'm not mad, like <laughs> What the hell, man? What the hell? Um, okay, so the so that doesn't hit. So that's your turn, Whoop. I assume. Um, who are you passing it to? Um, Cyrus. Cyrus is not an initiative right now. Cyrus is down the hall you said away. Cyrus could like keep going or something though. Keep running, yeah. Yeah, if Cyrus comes back. Yeah, so it's like, like he gets a choice whether he's gonna actually come back and help us or not. Well, it, that'll be free, a free, Cyrus okay. is free to jump in at any point. But right now Cyrus is gone with Randy. I feel like right. it's not gonna be until he gets here. If you, if you wanna do the popcorn, it's not gonna be until he gets there and he's like, wait, <laughs> where did everybody go? Where are the rest of those idiots? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that, okay. is, that is the funniest outcome I have to say. Okay, wait, wait, wait. we'll put it on Hieronymus then. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Hieronymus is going to shout out to uh, Flux, uh, shoot that person over there and point at uh, Gilgar. Okay. And uh, that is the help action, so you are going to uh, have uh, the benefit of my awesome uh, So I get advantage thing. Yeah. on my next shot? Yep. Cool. Uh, and then uh, Hieronymus... Uh, Starts to move towards the captain, stops, and uh, starts humming a little tune under his breath. Uh, and it is, in fact, an insidious little song called Dissonant Whispers. Oof. Okay, that sounds fun. It is fun. Maybe um, she'll leave us alone. Maybe. So we're going to cast that over there. And... It's a DC 13 wisdom save. Okay. Um, DC 13 wisdom. Oh, she'll run away. Yes. Oh my no, God. She will what not. The, what? what are her saves? <laughs> Holy wisdom save. Colorado Yikes. was just like, got it. Plus 12 to everything. <laughs> well, after yeah, we absolutely messed up these uh, idiots Nina's little bat, he's like, mm. Colorado's <laughs> like, I, I can put a CR again. 21 creature there. It's, it's fine. They're not going to interact with her. There, there's no way these idiots are going to fight her. So yeah. I gotta, <laughs> they're not going to try to fight her. Buffed up. She's so secretly a demon lord. And we're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Now, she's just a very good pirate. All right. um, yeah, so she's. What does that safe. make us? 
<laughs> I've yet to see you do good pirating. I've yet to see you do We're doing good it pirating. right now. No, you're not. <laughs> you had no plan going in. We you had a great took, plan. You took Randy and ran. Yeah, that's Literally. Plan. <laughs> All right, so the damage from the Dissonant Whispers is 15 uh, if she made her save, which, dear God, she did. Uh, <laughs> she takes half damage and does not have to run like crazy away from me. So... So seven. Seven, okay. And then uh, Hieronymus looks a little bit uh, kind of quizzically like, oh, you should be running away from me. Aha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to go like that. And yeah, her. That's her, bad. It's definitely like a, she knows something more about what's happening here. Mm-hmm. And her eyes like see it through you to the point where you're like, oh, God. Um, and uh, she's not happy about it. Um, yeah, that. Uh, we will uh, pass to. Uh, oh, what the heck! We will pass to the other team. Mm-hmm. You've got uh, the so captain that they don't or dog the dog us. First um, mate. We, we'll go to. Uh, we'll go to the. Uh, all right, hang on here, man. Specifically the crab, not Flux. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we will go to the uh, to the first mate fella. Okay, first mate. Um, this makes sense. His name is Gilgar, and Gilgar. he was the one that was like uh, when we were doing uh, when you peeked in and they were and the captain was dictating. He was the one doing commentary, not the not the not the engineer who was typing it out, but it was like yeah, they're not great, yeah. Um, so he's yeah. just a yes man. He's Edward G. Robinson. Uh, listen, he yeah, is he's... been the captain's first mate for a while, uh, and uh, is very proud of it. So yeah, he's got like a pension plan and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive. The longest crew member of the Plasma Fangs. Yeah. Um, great. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. I can tell you're thinking about a lot. No, I can't click on things. <laughs> it is making me very angry. Um, so everybody in the battlefield is just kind of like doing like the fighting <laughs> game thing, where like everyone's all idle. Yeah. Who yeah. moves? Who moves next? Who's 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 going? Like um, I, I can go if, we're you, just if you want me to. We're just fighting Final Fantasy style. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, turn base. Um, okay, so Gilvar comes around and uh, is gonna do just a big old slap. Uh, this is a bit of an octopus creature. And oh, okay. I was like, like he's actually just gonna like walk up and slap. No, one of us? no, like... he's got he's got big slaps. So hey, don't break into our place. How no. dare you? Stop it. Like no like, fighting. Pulls off the glove. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's it's a it's a very like all the tentacles and then just comes up. Boom. Is he slapping three seventy seven? Uh, right now is trying to because you're because three seventy seven is in the way. What's a what's a twelve to three seventy seven? That's not gonna hit. Okay, great. Three seventy seven's got like a I think he's got like fifteen AC or something like that. Well, this guy's got a lot of tentacles, so how many? I mean, that's fine. Does you, another you, slap at thirteen? Still missing. <laughs> <laughs> gives up gives up on three seventy seven. He's like, ow, this is a metal crab. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> Is 277 just like <laughs> deflecting them? <laughs> I hate this. Don't forget, he's German now. So. <laughs> um, he's Italian. He's now. Italian. And and then is going to uh, reach over 377 and do a slap at Pearl. Rude. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> and that, <laughs> against not a not uh, small crab, apparently still a metal creature though, uh, does a 26 to hit. And uh, that is nine bludgeoning damage. Oh, look, I'm beating up this little crap. Whack! <laughs> <laughs> it was a distraction the whole time. And 377 just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Pearl. Oh, no. <laughs> Rude. Uh, and it's going to do another slap. Apparently, that was it. Only one slap for Gilgar. Uh, <laughs> He's trying really hard. There, you know when you have like a, a thing that you can do really well with your dominant hand, and then you never can do it with your non-dominant yes. hand. It's got a dominant tentacle. He's got one tentacle that's like really, really jacked. Really buff, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it's, like, it's of all the tentacles he has, it's only one <laughs> it's of them. It's only one. It's from steering the ship like a cool guy, like this. <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> never. Leaned all the way back. back. No, um, totally unrelated side note. You should. 
totally watch that thing that it's not out once it you, comes out once it comes out um that, that that's a that's just a blanket evergreen statement <laughs> hey watch that thing that Brittany did it's when, gonna be great when it comes out whatever it is you'll love it when it comes out most likely right. okay so that is uh gilgar's turn gilgar is going to throw it to fox Hey, that's me. That's you. Uh, One tentacle bro to another. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like actually like an octopus though, yes. and I'm just like part octopus. Mm -hmm. Octopoid. Do, do we look like, do, do those tentacles look like they're like very, very similar to mine in style? Um, I'm not quite sure what. I'm asking if I believe that his DNA might oh. be possibly part of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Huh. Right, uh, well, don't have time to think about the <laughs> ramifications of that. I'm gonna like push myself off the wall. My weird mechanical heart is like doing like a little bit of a weird jittering thing. And I'm like, eh, okay, don't like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna sort of push back so you go, yeah, I was gonna shoot him anyways. And I'm gonna sort of angle up as, as I'm gonna have it so that 377 just sort of goes like this and holds up a claw and I'm just gonna go and like put it in the claw like a little like, <laughs> like a little rifle holder. Uh, okay, sure, sure. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Shoot him. I'm just yeah. gonna blast him. I'm gonna blow him away if I can. Blast him. Anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> oh my god, with advantage? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not great. It's it's a 13. With, the, with advantage. With advantage. I rolled a six and a one. <laughs> okay, great. <sighs> so do you wanna take the dice? <laughs> dice deal, we can uh, pass the dice deal around. Just like, we'll just put Everyone's dice. In the yeah, I was mad at the dice, but then it gave me a twenty to skedaddle. I, I don't. So. I mean, that's the first time I've rolled it this entire session. I don't know. If the, why are all the guys in here? <laughs> oh, I don't know. The guys are in there. Guys, you they're okay? They're imprisoned for their crimes. They're imprisoned for their crimes. I don't know what the crimes are, but they're in prison. Um, yeah, the the uh, tentacle uh, flexible nature of Gilgar makes him do a really cool like whoop. Um, away from your very clearly aimed at him yeah. rifle. Fine. All right. I'm going to sort of like push myself off, just like sort of lumbering, the, trying to move a little way to the right down the hallway. And I'm going to realize at this point, I think I saw Cyrus ran and then I got distracted. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, we should just fucking run. Uh, and I, I'm going to sort of like move this way. Um, and as I move that way, if that guy begins to look my direction at all, which I, is he following me? Because I just tried to shoot him. Yeah, he's like watching right. you. Uh, as, as he looks in my direction, 377, just gonna go, like, try to like stab him in the side. Great, okay, excellent. Uh, so that's just gonna be, that's just gonna be a, a rend attack. That's a nat 20. Oh my God, uh, Crab. Crab is the best character in our party. I'm just I gonna put it out there. Maybe you should give up Flux and just be the Crab. I, th I think Flux should leave, but he should leave 377. Yeah. Who will be my new character. Is just the Crab. Uh, well, okay. No, I love Bob's rolling a crab. crit, and then my two rolls are uh, one and one on both of my respective are dice. You? Oh my so God. my critical hit that does less average damage than a normal strike uh, that's going to deal four damage. <laughs> okay. Oh man! I mean, oh, he is man. just a little crab. Oh, I mean, he's just a little he, guy. He, he gives him little jabs, and it definitely hits like a weird pressure point. But yeah. that's kind of it. He's it, like, ow. Yeah, it's the thing where it's like when you hit your funny bone, you like, oh, do a collapse, but it's not mm -hmm. like you're dying. It's like, oh god, ow. That um, didn't break yep. skin. Didn't break skin. No, just. I told you to shoot him, and instead you whiffed, and then had your crab tickle him. <laughs> <laughs> He moved really fast. I don't know. He's trying. Um, so I moved so a, I was like against that wall. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so I can move like here. Great. <laughs> That's the furthest I can go. Okay. Uh, at 377, I think is going to shuffle. So he's standing in front of me. Okay. So and who are you protective. throwing it to? Uh, so I'm going to throw got... it at this point to Schmel, who I think was, was Riding into battle after me, because he's <laughs> like that, I guess. Yeah, right now, although uh, it's been a, a minute. It's th You can see, like, in... Not an hour, though. Not an hour, but it's uh, something. something's kind of like... Oh, no, is he getting a resistance? <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's still charmed. He's still there, but, uh, like, I think, I his think, face is a little pain. I think Schmel's going to run in holding up the, the blade with two hands <laughs> as he just runs in and just brings it down. He's going to try to smack uh, Gilgar. Okay. Uh, I don't know what his bonus to hit is or any of that, but you I'm, have his I'm gonna try my best sheet. to to look. You have his I, I just looked. Uh, wait, he has a multi attack? Oh shit! 
schmulty. Oh, wait, no, that was. <laughs> I'm gonna do this all set. No, why did I? I rolled two cocked sevens. Like seven, but you on its side. You can roll in and roll 20 for No, 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 no. It's better this way, I swear. <laughs> yes, uh, clearly it's been working out so well. <laughs> really Schmel real just rolled a 20. Okay. So I'm gonna say that's a win, and these do a d6, right? Oh, should I roll both attacks at the same time? Up to you. Okay, I'll just do that. I've, I've been doing. Bam, bam, bam. I rolled higher. <laughs> oh, 20 and 22. Okay. So uh, Schmel absolutely does the. Schmel's a beast. Slow motion jump. I rolled two ones again! <laughs> <laughs> what? The duality. Well, are you of sure? Men. Are you sure that dice is not loaded? <laughs> no, but it's been different dice! <laughs> it, it was D8s so and now it's D6. What's happening? Okay. The dice are bullying you for me. It's, I'm starting it to think. eight total points of lightning damage. To Gilgar. To I'm Gilgar. starting okay. to think Both my hits. luck rolled off on specifically that this spot. Seat. <laughs> I rolled great when I was over there. I, I don't know. He still smacks him really hard. Yeah, I mean, Gilgar's not having a good time. Uh, you sit with a knife? No, he's got the, the stun blade. blade. Yeah, so the stun blade like, goes right into his shoulder. Um, and I imagine it just makes like a like a the sound of like a wiffle bat smacking somebody because it's like made of plastic and it's like lightning charge. It is lightning, <laughs> but you hear a sizzle like whoosh, sizzle right into the shoulder and like pulls it out. He doesn't just They're smack; so he like hollow. It's like <laughs> octopuses have shoulders. It's got it's a it's where everything culminates. All the tentacles come up. Uh, but so yeah, it's like right between two tentacles. Okay. Um, Listen. Right in the ouchies. Spot. Listen, everybody's an alien. Schmel so. has immense yes. confidence right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Schmel, Schmel is and does like a, a like a war cry. Uh, and uh, I think at this point, unfortunately, there's only one person who hasn't gone yet. I, I believe it's the captain. The captain. So it's her turn. Captain's turn. My excuse for why I didn't give it to her immediately is because she was still a little pissed off about the transformation thing, and she's still getting over it. Yeah. <laughs> but now she's over it. Now she's over it. Um, you, you hurt you hurt her second, and so now she's pissed. Now yep. she's pissed. Um, she's about to murder us. <laughs> Good luck. And um, so she, all this commotion is going on. The smell is yelling and jumping, and the crabs are stabbing, and the, mm -hmm. lots of things are happening. And she pulls out from her waistband uh, two plasma blades, like pulls them out, whoosh, hits them on. Um, and she just first person in front of her, which I think right now is Pearl. Oh, um, oh no, Pearl. She knows and... better than to attack Schmel. <laughs> the chat would have her. <laughs> I, would, I would be in a lot Can of trouble. Can you imagine the power move, though, of your like, yeah, he's joining your team, and then you, the next tough NPC <laughs> just one shots him, just like cuts off his head. Mm. No. Everyone's like, I'll, I'll do something more. And then we lose half that. our audience. I'll, yeah, dude, we are all our five audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, 17 to hit, Pearl. Yeah, that hits. Great. Uh, five fire damage. Oh. Um, and actually is so, so one one blade comes up, whoosh, and then a backhand to Schmel, um, who is also kind of right there. He is basking in his success right now, so yeah. he is not expecting he it. He is ah. not expecting it. Ouch. Um, that's... He's like, I'm taking classes levels in Barbarian, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so rage. I, that, I'm, I'm almost positive that that hits. It does hit. Uh, what, what, what was the roll? 19. Oh, yeah, that hits. Um, Apparently he has a AC of 18. He does. Jeez. <laughs> we... We smells stronger than we are. He was a guard. He was a guard. He, was a guy. he just seemed so incompetent when we talked to him. That's you charmed him. him. Yeah, we did charm him. No, but him. even even after that, he it's tried. fine. Um, okay, so smell takes eight fire goodness. fire damage. Ooh. Um, and uh, and fang. And the cool. yeah, that's the names of the blades. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, Should've everybody, uh, say. Thank you, Colorado, in the chat. Um, we can tell him that personally. Thanks, Colorado. Yeah, thank you, We Colorado. think you're pretty great. Yeah, uh, good job on making everybody cooler than I ever could. Uh, okay, so um, she does like a cool little oof, spin kick um, and is coming over to you, Hieronymus. Really wants to face off against her double. <laughs> Really badly. Yeah, um, she, I was behind all those people. How'd she get to me? <laughs> uh, she did the 
funny kick flip. Yeah, she did a cool kick flip. Is she just oh, wow. standing on Schmel? <laughs> she, yeah. She just <laughs> crushes him. Yeah. Well, boom, and then like stands on top of him. How much damage did you do to Schmel? Uh, Sorry. eight. Eight points. Okay, cool. Thank you. That and um, does a, a swing at you, Hieronymus. 23 to hit. Uh, I think that hits. Okay. Uh, seven fire damage and 21 to hit. How many attacks? She gets four. What the f- Frick frack. <laughs> I mean, she's the captain for a reason. I, sure. We probably weren't supposed to try and fight her. I mean, All we right. tried. So what was the total? Not Seven to and how much? Seven and 11. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, like just just the, the determination in her eyes as she, she like uh, pushes Schmel down, stands on top of it, does the exact same thing Schmel did, jump, run. Uh, leap in the air, come down with both blades whoosh, at you. Yeah, we get it. You're really cool, all right? Shut up. <laughs> and uh, Hieronymus needs food badly. <laughs> uh, and then and then does the does the superhero landing on one knee, comes back up. Um, you know and... what? I think we're the bad guys. That was way too cool. <laughs> um, and... I think we weren't supposed right. to fight her. You win. We want to join your crew. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Um, did you say that? Silence for a second. I may. I'm Ooh. delirious because I've got a one hit point. Because <laughs> if you say that, for sure, she, like, stops. Um and like looks at you and goes, well, not looking like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Flex is just like back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I look like a ble- bleeding cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You're still you're still disguised as her, I assume. I am, or yeah. shaped as yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, really Hiram just kind of like rolls over to the corner and goes, yeah. and stands back up and looks not like himself, but he looks like uh, a they different stopped person. trying to murder yeah. us. Yeah. We're having a break in the, the, <laughs> the combat for a cool role play moment. Um, yeah, so. Um, and. Oh, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna come back and he's gonna look like a little translucent fat dev. <laughs> oh. Wait, you look like dev? <laughs> but right fatter? Now? He was already a blob. Yeah, he's a big blob. Like, do you look exactly like Dev? Yeah, I'm gonna come back as Dev. Okay. Why? Uh, Just because. Uh, yeah. Like, you're really putting yeah, gasoline on the fire, aren't you? Pushing her buttons. Uh, you do that, and she goes, no. Uh, and uh, I'm no. gonna have uh, the next person in combat be Hiram this year. Yikes. You want help? Go ahead, big boy. Yikes. You either you get out of there, or you say something real convincing. <laughs> You don't see the, I, I don't remember Dev's voice, but he's gonna impersonate <laughs> Dev's voice and say, yeah. you don't see the utility of this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, I see the utility and I see how it can be used against me and this isn't working. Um, she's like gonna, you know, hit the blades again so they do a like cool spark. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's just like, dang. It's cool. <laughs> she's cool. I love oh, her. She's so cool. She's so cool. <sighs> what are you doing there? All right, Hieronymus is going to. Uh, well, that doesn't even help me because she's got freaking magic laser fire damage crap. <laughs> she does have magic laser fire damage crap. I know. Uh, you could just use Schmel as a body shield and like dive <laughs> behind him. So when she I was already die. behind him and she jump kicked over him. Yeah. Like, Schmel, I think, is currently like, on the ground. Bayonetta yeah, she's or something. Standing yeah. on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not standing on him anymore. Um, but like, yeah, Schmel gets up like, oh, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> I was like, really I got cool. stepped on by a hot lady and I'm yeah. way into it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really into that one actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> He's still charmed. It's okay. He has an excuse. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hieronymus yells out, Cyrus! <laughs> what the fuck? Kill Randy if she doesn't stop fighting us. That'll piss Dev off. Oh, I get it. <laughs> All right. That's actually a good one. <laughs> Uh, Tell her one more move, and 
Randy's head's coming off me emotions like <laughs> at Randy like shut up shut the fuck up <laughs> um, were you trying to like convince her or I'm, I'm trying to bluff the living shit yeah, out of her because intimidation. she's about to kill that. me yeah. to death yeah kill you to death um, yes wow that's the worst way to go that's a left Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're so intimidating, Cyrus. With your Wait. Dorito stained t shirt. Yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> not. <laughs> I believe there are a couple more of these on the table. I don't have All right, one. well, so we're not really going to kill Randy. Uh, let's call this a deception check. Sure. All right, let's see how bad that will work. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, uh,. Yeah, the the realization hits her face, um, and she turns to Gilgar. They like have this unspoken communication, um, and they both jet back into uh, the main throne room area. Can can three seventy seven try to grab something from Gilgar's pocket? <laughs> yes, Cyrus is doing oh my God. God. Yeah, for sure. I Cyrus raised him in the ways of thievery. Yeah, absolutely. Cyrus is gonna wait to see if anything else is said. Seventeen. <laughs> I like how you're like. This is a great time to practice this. Oh no, hey. no, no. Flux, Flux isn't doing it. Three seventy seven just goes. Yeah, but you don't tell whatever. him to do it. He no. just decides to I've, do I've, it. I've oh, taught him no. the ways. What have we done Trained to him? him in the ways. <laughs> Um, one Cyrus is gonna. <laughs> he's been unless poorly he hears anything from other else, he's probably gonna time. like. Not not these guys. Like start our, our hiding Randy behind yeah. the dummies unless he hears idea. something else because no yeah. one else has said anything. Yeah. So so we're hiding. We're we're, we're hiding. Him. Cyrus is getting ready to yeah, barrel back in there unless there's anything else said. Yeah. Um. So what you steal from Gilgar's pocket is his wallet. <laughs> as, as he just goes, <laughs> where's your wallet? Um, so now you've got Gilgar's wallet, I guess. I'm gonna add that to my. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and uh, the we're out of initiative now, and Shmel is like. Do they do they just like slowly back off or do they just fucking no? Run? They bolt. They're they're why they run away? Do you get opportunity attacks? Wait, wait, why are they running? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe they're calling Dev. Yeah, we. But better... then we'll just kill Randy. I don't know. Hey, do you mind if these guys kill Dev, kill Randy? Because we really want to kill them. <laughs> they're going back into the Great Hall. Um, yeah. To. Hey, do you have regular grenades? Yeah. Could you just start chucking them in there? <laughs> I have one grenade left. Oh, I made like six and went through them all in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Let's get out of here. I, th I think I have one. No, no, actually, wait. I still have three because 377 Shh, still has guys, one. We don't guys, care. We got to go know. because she's going to call the crew and they're going to come. Guys, do you want me it. to uh, head back? Do you want no, me? No, we're coming to you. We're, we're, we're you. on our way. Boom. Everybody run. Picking Randy back up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go on, I'm, get. Look, I'm not a sack of potatoes. Would you rather run with us or I carry you? Uh, if you stop carrying me like a sack of potatoes, how would you? A, a piggyback ride would be more preferable than over the shoulder. Sorry, so I'm over like <laughs> kind of like piggyback ride trying to set that up, but continuing to roll yeah. like yeah. as they're moving, yeah. so it's clunky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're doing a lot of slinging and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you actually, uh, as you're bolting out, you hear like just the klaxon alarms going off oh, in the space. Um, as we're running, Flex as you're goes, running. is this the time to mention that, uh, were we gonna steal the ship or not? What's going on Cyrus is heading towards um, the other pirate's ship. Sure. That's the last he knew and yeah. no one's told him anything else. All right, so. somebody contact Otto. Oh wait, I, I'm gonna pull up my little <laughs> communicator. Otto, get the ship going, now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know I, how auto communicates back. I just assume there's literally like a, a radio just sitting on the counter yeah. next to where auto is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. You hear like the, the the same way that when somebody is on like speaker with you and they like step away for a second and yell across the room, like you mm -hmm. hear like a uh, <laughs> like really really quiet. All right. Well, I guess we're getting on the other ship then. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I mean. 
Rob, the player, does not know, but I'm assuming that our people, including Cyrus, would know. Can you just, like, steal somebody's ship, or, like, do you have to have, like, keys it's or hot keys. wire it? Because <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, let's just go to old Bessie and chuck a grenade and onto their ship to kind of slow it down. <laughs> sure. Um, do we know? Well, what we last time when you guys uh, robbed uh, or were attempting to steal the scimitar, you just dismantled some of the security on it as yep. it started the ship. That so, is true. Like, yep. that's... That's kind of um, what what was happening last time. So I say the same thing happens again. Right. Okay. Um, we're just we're gonna go head that direction then. Like since this is their base, would they like like when you park your car in your garage, do you lock it? In your own garage. True. Yeah, in your own garage. <laughs> they they <laughs> totally did not activate the security yeah, system. Yeah, probably not. Especially because they're all drunk. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna hop, hop hop on the ship. Okay. I'm gonna be yes, quickly looking just... back and forth to make sure nothing's about to shoot us. But I'm not sure. If there is, so I'm just checking really quick. Okay. And I'm gonna go try to start the thing. Yeah. Um, walking, walking into the, the controls. Okay, great. So um, there is like, you know, a, a boot up sequence that you have to do for sure. There is no security that like inhibits you from getting on the ship. Um, it's a big galleon, like huge. This is, this is like a nice, this is so nice. Really nice ship. It's really big. I'm gonna go into the engine room, make sure everything's working all right. See if I can't jumpstart anything from down there. I'm gonna head down that direction uh, the whole time going. Or importantly, uh, if there are security things once we're on, we should activate them so they can't just like climb on and yeah. hit us. Sorry, it's not it's like um, getting it started first, getting security second. Got it. Great. Um, okay, so uh, do we're gonna do kind of what I don't remember what we did last time as far as booting up the ship. I think that was on you, Flux. I mean, it makes sense. I need so. to get the engine going. Yes, please. Um, Why don't you have uh, Schmel or 377 do it? <laughs> <laughs> so they roll better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have the crab start the uh, ship. <laughs> so, I, so Flux is going to go down to the engine room, and he's going to look around. And I assume it's... How big is this? Is it like a massive engine room? Yeah, I mean, this is... So I don't know if you've ever been on like... Um, a galleon? What, well, like a tall ship. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, so like when you go underneath, it's not like huge. I'm, there's space. There's definitely space. It's bigger than like, um, you know, a fucking fishing vessel. Yeah. Right? Ooh, uh, I feel you like my attention is being drawn every direction. You're not, uh, you're uh, Randy, do you know how to help us out here stealing their ship from them? I don't do ships. They're, okay, I'm just asking. Plan. You're a technical I, guy. I'm good at making defensive weapons. Flux is having a bit of a hard time focusing, so he's gonna take that like that little like coin that he has like around his neck yeah. and he's gonna push it to his forehead for a second. I'm mm -hmm. gonna use the Medal of Wit okay. to give myself advantage on intelligence checks. Okay. So I don't know exactly what I'm, is this like a, is this like a mm, Tinker's Tools check? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh wow, I need to change the angle. That's going to be a 14. Okay. Um, yeah, you walk into the engine room. It's not something you're familiar with as far as uh, ship's engines because you've been on Old Bessie for a year, I think, at this point, six months, a year, something like that. Oh, um, a while. I didn't think it was a full year. Well, okay, <laughs> let's say eight months. Sure. Eight months. But they're space months, so they could be any amount of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, so that it's could actually be like, like three daily months. savings. It's like you lose a couple months. Um, no, so you, you, go, you go into the engine room. Um, you know the basics. Uh, you won't blow yourself up. Um, but there's, pulling some things, yeah, you're twisting pulling, some levers. You can, you can, you hear the engine kind of start up uh, the solar sails unfurl, um, and you can kind of see the power coming down the solar sails into the engine room. So oh, you're, the police are coming. <laughs> the police uh, are coming. No, that's the sirens from <laughs> the meteor. Oh, they sound weirdly <laughs> like police cars. Yeah, but in this world, just that's the only. It's one siren type. There's only one siren. <laughs> only one it, that, that could be an ambulance for all you know, but it sounds like the police. It's only one thing. Um, yeah. So you've you've booted up uh, the plasma fang, um, and okay. it's it's going. It's ready. Cyrus, I'm gonna grab onto like the nearest like comm system. Looks like things are ready to go. All right, let me get going. <laughs> oh boy. Please don't fail me now. Uh... A nine. a nine. I am proficient. Yes. So, but that's, that's, that's nine. I don't think I get advantage on the roll, sadly. Unless you want me to. Uh, <laughs> to fly it? Um, 
I mean, like, you're just trying to get up and going, so I'm gonna say that you are now vertical. Cool. But that's kind of it. You, like, lift it off. This is a very big ship. I, I don't imagine know. This is usually probably more than just one person yes. piloting. Yeah. Yeah. Can I try and tune into this ship like uh, I did to Bessie? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly send up through the comm system and go, uh, Cyrus, if you're trying to start the ship, there's a there's a standard computer on board. You might be able to use it to help you out here. Uh, I do what understand you? that he's trying to turn on. He's like, but this is also designed to be piloted by more than just one person. This is not just a fishing vessel here. Yeah, I, I, I get that. What do you want me to roll for that? Well, thank goodness um, you'll eventually have auto help. So do you I, I have don't, any kind of vehicle proficiency? I don't know. What did you roll on your vehicle check? Uh, it was a nine total. Okay, because you can add so. two to any space vehicle's checks because of the computer on board. I'm looking at stat block. Um, that's 11. I don't think so. Okay. Best. Um, and in the meanwhile, Hieronymus is going to find one of these ship's guns and make sure that it can be pointed at the entrance of the thing so that when a bunch of pirates come out there, there's a gun pointed at them and they will not mess with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Cyrus, what did you roll for flight? It was nine. <laughs> what, what stat did you roll? Um, it's, it's base wisdom plus my proficiency with the space yeah. um, and land vehicles. Yeah. Do you want me to roll wisdom? Yeah. 16. 16? Yeah, Pearl, you jack into the computer. You don't <laughs> know everything you, there Pearl. is to know, <laughs> but you know how to pilot this ship pretty effectively, cool, cool, cool. and you can see the previous routes that it's taken, and uh, you can tell that it needs a bit of a tune-up with the solar sails. Like, mm. you, you've got the diagnostics. Like the, like the stats. Yeah, you know the stats. Yeah. You don't, like, again, not everything, but right. enough that you could, mm. you know, feasibly assist with anything. I'm probably just going to start, like, whatever information about how to sail this thing, mm -hmm. I'm just going to start spitting it out while Cyrus is just there. Yeah, you know, I'm just for like, sure. this is how you sail. First, you must. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pearl, I do, I do appreciate that, but could you a actively do the things you're saying instead of doing them? Because Cyrus is just like running all around. Yeah. Cyrus, I'm activating gonna... the solar sail. Should be opening and unfurling right now. I do have four arms. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I could. Yeah. Um. <laughs> How's things going up there? Are we getting attacked right now, or what's going on? Um, <laughs> looks over. Hieronymus, uh, d do we have anyone coming up? Do we have anyone coming up? <laughs> <laughs> Chain of command. Oh, oh that's me. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, so far, so far, nothing is nothing is happening uh, as far as people coming out. You do see. Um, that part of the area where the ship is docked, there's like lights blinking on the wall that weren't blinking before. Okay. Um, and Schmel, still being charmed, goes, "I can help." Uh, do you have have Do you have any piloting experience? I was on a train for most of my career. Could you go on to? I'm assuming there's more than just one gun. Could you go on to the? Uh, Gun over on the other side, so we have both Which gun are you on? sides covered. Yes. Have idea. We have a, we have a plasma ballista and an auto cannon. Oh, sweet. The plasma ballista does a lot more damage, but it can only be shot once per round. Yeah, I'm looking at the stat block. Colorado gave it to us. Yes. That's how I know these things. I'm not just a mad wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. Colorado's the mad wizard behind the scenes, like, hey, yeah. I have a stat I just, block I, for I, you. I was like, wait, I'm literally in the engine room. I should really have this open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one are you on, Harimus? Uh, I will be on the uh, plasma ballista. Okay, cool. So uh, Schmel goes over to the auto cannon um, and stands there like. Apparently, two people can be on the auto cannon. That's oh, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think he's going on the other side. Yeah. Thanks for the live updates, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, yeah, a little spooky. Um, that's the computer. That's the onboarding computer yeah. being like. Two people can be on the auto cannon. They're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it's just Pearl actually just spitting <laughs> it out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So then I'm gonna go to the auto cannons because that's cooler. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Schmel is cool. like, hello. Are we doing this together? Yes, we are. That's exciting. I. I was very impressed by your. Whack oh, thank you. I've never done anything like that before. Yes, if only you were uh, a little bit less uh, stand onable, I would not have gotten <laughs> hacked up so bad. Stand onable. <laughs> Listen, she was really good. She was very cool. She was very cool. Um, 
I'm currently charmed and I'm not very cool, so. You don't sell yourself short there, Schmelly. Oh, thank you. I think I'm okay. You are. Even when you're not charmed, you're charming. Look, I'm sending all power to the hyperdrive <laughs> generators. I don't know what's going on up there. We're having a little buddy flick over here on the guns. <laughs> don't fist bump in like, yeah. yeah. Don't set it any higher than 1.5 because that's as fast as um, old Bessie Yeah, can no, go. The, the lever only goes up to 1.5 on oh, okay. the ship, so we're all good. <laughs> if it went up higher, there'd be a problem because the ship literally would shake itself apart, so we're good. All right, uh, has anybody been in contact with Otto? Is uh, Otto ready to follow us? You have the communicator too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have one too. Sweet, Otto. <laughs> Are you just yelling, or are you actually like using your? <laughs> just yelling over to the ship. Hey, hey, I know, I know. Um, yeah, I mean, if you use your radio, auto bleeps and bloops <laughs> at you. Yeah, and you're like, great. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> All right, just be ready to ready to run, Otto, because we're we're making a break for it. Grip it and rip it. Flux, Flux <laughs> is going to start working on dismantling anything that might track what, what ship this is sure. because I don't want to be tracked oh and have people that's know that's, that's the Plasma Fang ship. But also, don't just start pulling shit apart. Please. No, <laughs> not. I mean, Randy had some kind of a tracking device on here that yes. uh, we followed. but oh, Well, the tracking device was on Randy. On Randy, It was yeah. in his shoe. Gonna try Did we get rid of that? The, well, I mean, you have you still have, we have, have both following both ends. Yeah, oh, you have both ends. Okay, I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh fuck. Wait. Yeah, no, you're the ones that were looking at the screen. <laughs> Cyrus, are you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no. Maybe we should get Otto on this show. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a one. That's a one. Oh, I'm not gonna bother to add no. anything to it. It's a one. No. Yeah, I you... need that dice jail back. <laughs> <laughs> dice jail. <laughs> It's got all the guys it's in it. A, it's got guys in it. I don't know if you know this about the dice jail, but it's got guys there's in it. There's guys in it. There's guys in there. Who knows why, but there's guys. There's guys. I'm going to switch matter. to this dice. Right. Okay, great. Well, Can you three, stall. Seven, stall seven, it. Seven, I was like, I figured seven. it's going to stall now, isn't it? No. He's not built for flight. I mean, unless I put well, apparently neither is Cyrus based on how Flux things are going here. Flux, why is the engine stalling? The engine isn't stalling. You're not pressing the right buttons. <laughs> the engine is stalled. I no, promise. No, it's not. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Whoa, everybody is yelling a Definitely lot. Definitely couldn't be Cyrus's piloting skills. I'm going to grab I mean, my watch and talk to me like, Otto, <laughs> yeah, Randall, yeah. Bessie <laughs> on the plasma fang and get in here. Okay, and as you say this, like a shadow crosses over top of everybody that's on the deck. And old Bessie, like, not not as wide as the deck, but almost like, old Bessie isn't a small ship. No, but the, but but the plasma fang is a much bigger ship. Yeah. Um, so it could land comfortably. And is, and Cyrus can apparently only fly when Otto is also there. <laughs> they keep each other in <laughs> check. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, no one's in the way except for Schmel who goes, oh. <laughs> Schmel, move! God damn oh. it, Schmel. Okay. <laughs> uh, and Schmel is like, does a little think and does a cool roll. Uh, <laughs> um, he saw the captain and wants to try. And... Um, Definitely like bonked his head on the way. Yeah, absolutely. Does a bonk. Uh, doesn't do a full dogs. like roll. Like can't get up. Does the thing where you like lap your feet down low. Some very uh, impressive schmelkrobatic there. <laughs> it's not gonna catch on. Man. It will. I'm it's telling like, you, man. You're taking every vowel. It's not even like the E L sound. <laughs> every vowel. Anyways. Anyways, um, old Bessie is now on the ship, and uh, the plasma fang kind of shakes a little bit and you get up and uh, you get out of the overhang that you were that the plasma fang was parked in uh, on the asteroid and that is where I'm going to stop for today. Oh. Uh, Fair enough. Because we don't have oh, that man. much time. The fact that we survived at all, amazing. I mean, I'll I'm take, calling I'll, it a success. I'll take it. One hit point. One I hit. am going to say Are you that. Wait, you only have one hit point? Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this only because I'm going to forget next time and it's really funny, but Cyrus is going to mutter, um, Otto is never going to let me forget this. <laughs> Otto, I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, he, he will orbit your head forever. <laughs> yeah. before, right. the sh before the Schmel's charm waves wears off, we want to have him scratch out where it says the plasma fang and letter the ether bastard on the ship's prow. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do a new page up later. We got it. Fine. Yeah, you guys can decide how you're vandalizing the ship later. That is where I'm going to end today's session. Thank you so much for watching Health, 
hits experience. Um, I am glad that we got to jump back in today. Uh, once again, there's some art stuff happening. Me and Rob and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So uh, check it out. Um, I'm, I'm hoping most of it is either in the chat right now or in the Discord um, that you can check out later. Uh, today's adventure brought to you by Colorado Brown. Thank Woo. you, Colorado. Uh, and thank you to Mala Cook and Alex Gino Mala Gonzalez in the control room. Special thanks to Community Access Media for the use of their facilities and equipment. And that is all from us. We will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs> no we, we, have, no, we have them again. It's okay. We're